have had dignitaries, we have ministers who have been with us actually for the past two days, and we want to hear from them. We want to thank them for being here, uh, graciously uh, availing their time. Uh, that is uh, Honorable Kwesi Yanka, Minister of State for Tertiary Education in Ghana. We invite you to the podium. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, um, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. The irony of my standing here in my current capacity has to do with um, the last major international conference I attended, uh, which was just um, four or so months ago. I stood on the podium of that International Conference on Education in my capacity as uh, Vice Chancellor of a private university. Then, um, four years before that, I stood on respective academic platforms of such stature um, as Vice Chancellor or Pro Vice Chancellor of um, Ghana's premier university, which I had been for close to six years or so. Now, here I stand um, previously as, as, a, as very critical of policymakers in education within Ghana, within Africa, and elsewhere. Um, now, here I stand as the policy maker myself. Um, so in our country, Ghana, they will say that if you call yourself a, a fetish priest, dance and let's see you dance. Um, so here am I at almost at cross purposes. But I don't think policy makers and, um, and university administrators are necessarily at cross purposes, they are all working towards uh, raising standards and quality within education. Um, just a few remarks by way of an official statement on behalf of the government of Ghana, the Minister of Education, respective ministers of state, the Director General for the SDG Center for Africa, Vice Chancellors, Vice President of JICA, conference participants. It's been a great joy and a privilege to have been part of this International Forum on Sustainable Development Goals. Indeed, the initiative taken by Rwanda to create this center towards rallying support to realize the SDG goals is highly commendable. And I feel particularly gratified that the President of Ghana, Nana Dudankwa Kufuado, is a member of the board of this SDGC Center for Africa here in Kigali, being the newest member of the board. Uh, this makes it even more compelling for us in Ghana to play a pivotal role in implementing programs and policies towards realizing the goals of the SDGs. The government of Ghana will therefore put its full weight behind the SDG goals and take local initiatives in mobilizing African intellectuals towards quality tertiary education. To this end, we take a cue from President Kagame's proposal for a three-way partnership between the private sector, government, and universities in championing the realization of the SDG goals. We applaud the Kigali initiatives and we join the clarion call for action even as we, sh we are already part of the process. The new government of Ghana led by Nana Kufuado 
has first sought to improve access to tertiary education and other sectors of education by first redefining basic education to include high school education. This way we add considerable value to the minimum education threshold to be attained by all children. And this will also put us in a position to anticipate higher enrollment ratios within the tertiary sector. The free SHS policy that Adedankwa is introducing with effect from this September should also release energies and boost the quality of technical and vocational training among the youth. But the government has also sought to strengthen the private sector in education to enable it play a pivotal role in research and innovation. It has opened doors to private universities to access an educational fund otherwise exclusively accessed by public universities. It has sought to remove taxes that were previously slapped on private universities. And it is in the process of removing inequities prevailing in the setting up of public and private universities in the hopes of creating a level playing field where the private sector can drive research and innovation to reduce unemployment. Finally, I would like to take this opportunity to congratulate the government of Rwanda and the people of Rwanda as well, as well as participants in this conference on quality education, quality tertiary education. I would like to assure you all that the government and people of Ghana will sustain the momentum that you have built at this particular venue. Thank you very much.